was so young And it must be wrong But I do it all the same And we are really so shy There's nothing I can do Except believe in this and We could always go wrong But everyone says This is a place to be I'm also remembering this uh, The Scene Britannia document from BBC um, it's funny, uh, I have to say that I never realized that there was this situation where you were a little bit of an outcast of the, of the scene of electronic music. I think they said in the, in the documentary, I just seemed to come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd never really been part of electronic music, I, I wasn't even that much, you know, that much awareness. I didn't really know much about Human League, I can't have heard of them, I think I might have seen them once. Um, I knew about craft work, but I'd never seen them. Never heard of Orchestra Manoeuvres. Never heard of a. I knew about Ultravox. Um, no, I didn't even find out about Ultravox until I, I discovered the synthesizer myself in the studio. So I, I go to the studio to record a, a guitar punk album, find a synthesizer in the studio which I'd never seen before, and record a, you know, a half hearted electronic punk type album, um, which Rebel Company released, luckily. But that got me interested, but now I'm all interested in electronics, I'm going to find out about it. So it was only then that I start finding out who else is doing it. I thought I, would, I was, apart from Kraftwerk and a few others, I thought I was right there at the front. And then I started to find out that there's, you know, there was Fad Gadget and Daniel Miller and all these. And it just seemed like every city in, in Britain had its own little electronic person doing something. You know. The reason that we got on top of the pops, or the t you know, big TV show, on that particular week, and because that got to number one, was um, uh, the record company put out a picture disc version of the single. Now we'd only sold 3,000 singles before in total, but they printed 20,000 picture discs. And it was only the second picture disc, I think, that they'd been at that, at that time. So everybody went out and bought it, didn't even know what the song was, just went out and bought it. How lucky is that? You know, if that had been done to Human League or Christian Minervous, they'd have been number one, they'd have been the the band that started it all. So I've never felt special or clever. I just thought, how lucky was that? <laughs> <laughs> um, what about the new album? It's been quite a long time to, since I've had any you know, decent new stuff out. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to do something about them now. So we're working on two albums at the same time because I'm these silly gaps I keep having between them. Uh, it's just crazy. So uh, there's one called Dead Sun Rising, and that's the album we're doing. We're going to do three songs from it tonight. I haven't got anything yet that I would want to play to people. Uh, but having said that, you know, they are both due to, to be finished this year. And, you know, we're now deciding whether we're going to be brave enough and put a tour in at the end of the year, you know, on the assumption that I will finish, finish them both. <laughs> but uh, I know, I, I just, I'm loving, I'm really enjoying doing what I do, being in the business and um, the last last sort of few years have been particularly pleasant. But, yeah. um, music's obviously got much heavier much darker than it, it's been before, which I'm really enjoying. I want to keep, keep going down there. Um, and that makes the live thing more fun, more enjoyable, because it's that much more aggressive. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, just, I'm just loving it. I thought I'd be bored to death by the time I was about 30, you know. Oh,